Last time on Hidden Secrets of the Pyramids, Part 1, we explored the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid of Giza and studied the possibly megalithic construction methods of the so-called Graveyard of the Pyramid Builders. With 80% of Egypt still underground, there are just as many questions to answer as there are answers to question. You won't want to miss part two as we explore the incredible second pyramid grounds. There's more on the Giza Plateau than meets the eye. You can see very large stones closer to the bottom there versus those people in the distance. More people trying to get money from us again. I don't blame them. It's been really low here, low season for the whole of the year, but uh, it gets very, very frustrating after a while, so you have to be prepared. Look at this phenomenal stone here. This is these are huge stones and you see what looks like basalt on the ground over here these more gray looking stones and that is if you're aware one of the hardest rocks in the entire world um right next to these enormous enormous they look like uh they look like limestone um rocks here and to carve this out is phenomenal these are really large stones um the, one of the hardest rocks to cut out. Wow. So we're just climbing up here through a lot of very obvious erosion from weaker uh, rocks that I've seen their weaker deposits, softer stone, basically spooned out of it. And then here we got stones that I, I don't know how many tons this is but it's bigger than any I've seen so far here at the pyramids absolutely massive and you could see underneath them look at that they're basically polygonal carved and look what it's holding on to there that little lip but this rock is massive it's an absolutely massive stone look at that up there unbelievable I think this this one over here is causing the piss smell, aren't ya? That's very smooth. Yeah, that is like that's why they were doing the um, laser precision research in the pyramid. I mean, that is very much perfect. I mean, you could carve that out, but what over a decade to just do that? <laughs> that is one perfect flat plane, and another perfect. That is a. That is a Deliberately cut angle. Look at it. That's the outer surface. So it's deliberately cut. Wow. Might actually be granite. <laughs> we see more pretty incredible cuts here. Very flat surfaces. And it's laying at the bottom of the second pyramid. And it would make sense considering it would be the outer layer that uh, was shaken off in an earthquake long ago. I'm gonna bring you guys a little ways over here to see more amazing cuts here. 
that seem to be cut in a way to actually fit the erosion on the rock behind it. This is uh, amazing precision. This almost looks like some kind of mill or device or something. I mean, the flatness of the stone underneath is ridiculous. I mean, it's perfect. A laser would go across that perfectly. Just smoothed out. The other side isn't so good, kind of worn and torn, but you can see these little crevices. I'd like to take a measuring tape because they look perfectly separated. And we got a mini pyramid. <laughs> see. Looks like measurements on them. Um, this is at the bottom of the so-called second pyramid. Pretty precise. We have more of these circular looking rocks and there's a really big one over there that people are sitting on. Um, get back to me in the comments about what you think that is. By the way, this looks like a death trap. It feels, I feel like <laughs> the rocks here are very loose looking. Um, we got more, by the way, and we got a lot of these uh, examples here of rocks like that. Another one here, another one there. So they're all over the place. See little teeth in the I know that stone here. There's a technique for binding the stones that's common. I've seen it in temples in Africa and it's in South America. Like a butterfly. So basically, so there's a stone here, this one here. They carve out the wood shape here, and the wood shape here, and they take more and more of them. So it binds them together. more strange indentations in the stone. They're all part of the same stone, but we see these indentations in, by the way, these absolutely insanely big um, rocks. Let me just stand next to it here from toe to head, just to give it an idea. It would have to be about six foot six to six foot eight, considering my height. So incredibly tall stones, and incredibly deep and really well carved as well. And from the second pyramid, we head to Mencor, right over here among the rubble of amazing so-called casing stones. This, the, the technique used here is seemingly impossible for the tools of their time. And by the way, they've, I think they found a whole total of like a hundred tools out here. The tools would have been worn down within minutes and they'd have to use millions upon millions upon millions of tools a month, my friends, a month to get this pyramid done in the time they say it would have taken. You get a really good image of what's left of the top here. Shaken off uh, allegedly by a massive earthquake. Look at these little carved out whatever these are on here. Just very, very interesting. We see that over here as well. They're all over the place. There's another one of those circular ones. What the hell was going on over here? 
I am so incredibly tempted to climb this pyramid, but obviously I won't. I'll be banned from Egypt, but um, it actually looks like there's some really large stones way up there too. I mean, I know they're big, but I mean really big. I'm seeing some evidence of really large rectangular stones up closer to the top. Um, I'll give you a, a guys a close up. These divots, you can see all along here. I don't think I've seen this online before. See the little stone divots? Got them in there. We got them right here too. There's a huge stone just balancing there. <laughs> All right, I'm walking towards Mencor here. I have absolutely no idea if I'm allowed to, but I see some people out there. So on we go to Mencor. Thanks for watching part two, everyone. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the Giza necropolis uh, at Mencor Pyramid at the temple outside Mencor, where we see some very interesting drill cuts as well as basalt stone not like anywhere else you've ever seen. Just unbelievable precision cut. There's a lot more to ancient history than meets the eye, and we are working as hard as we can to investigate it here in Egypt. Also, stay tuned for many other videos, including unbelievable access to the Great Pyramid of Giza, the likes of which you haven't seen in any other video before, as well as shafts around the Giza Plateau, and many of the ancient sites all throughout Egypt, as well as in Luxor, in Aswan, you won't want to miss our upcoming videos that also include exclusive interviews with people like Jimmy from Bright Insight, Ben from Uncharted X, and of course Yusuf Awiyan of the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism. You don't want to miss our upcoming videos. But first, make sure to hit that like button, share on social media, and make sure to find us strictly on BitChoot, Library slash Odyssey float.app we were purged from youtube my friends if you find this on youtube make sure to follow us over on the other alternative platforms and check the links below for ways you can help keep us alive we've got a passion for ancient civilizations and the history that we're not being told of a lost ancient civilization that was once technically advanced and wiped off the face of the planet by a massive cataclysm stay tuned as we continue to investigate this we've got some videos that i'm sitting on that it hurts me to sit on because the level the extent of information we got in these videos is enough to blow anybody's mind whether you're interested in this kind of stuff or not so stay tuned you won't want to miss part three of hidden secrets of the pyramids I'm sure you have already changed people's minds in your young age because you're involved and I like that. <laughs>